Hello the internet, it's Mike from Player One Ready again. Do another FIFA 16 team of the season review uh, on Ultimate Team. This time it is of the Argentinian striker Rodiego well, Riego Funes Mori, the younger brother of, oh the twin actually, of the uh, Everson centre half. Um, he has apparently 9 games, 11 goals for me. It's actually 9 games, 14 goals. Uh, I disconnected from EA after winning a game 4-2, uh, so that adds to the record. But overall it's a decent record. I think he should actually have 2 assists there as well, not 1. Oh yeah, another game, in the, in the same game, he was kicked out. Um, he has 3-star weak for 3-star skill, 85 uh, shot and on his card. Uh, going into his in-game stats, he's got 81 aggression, 87 tap positioning, 83 agility, 77 sprint speed, 7, uh, 84 strength, 84 stamina, and 93 jumping. He also has 82 ball control, 96 curve, 80 dribbling, 85 finishing, 99 heading, 81 long shots, 85 penalties, 89 short pass, 89 shot power, 77 volleys. 3-star weak foot, 3-star skill, as I said, but he doesn't have any traits or specialities. Uh, first of all, pace. Bit of a strange one. Um, I'm going to show you the clips in which he looked really slow. Um, ones like this, where, okay, it wasn't the greatest ball, but he just seems to get outpaced with ease by Socrates there. Uh, again, here, over hit through ball when uh, Barca gets there. He gets there ahead of everyone, to be fair. And again, Lichstein takes off him there. He can feel quite slow at times. His initial acceleration is decent, but there you go, trying to get going, he's not great. Strength usually does make up for that. Um, passing though, as you say, 89 short passing you see on his, uh, in his in-game stats. Very useful, you can uh, bounce passes off him, you can build attacks by using that decent passing. That's all I seem to do, is just sort of play it to him and let, let him sort of feed it around to the players around him. Here's one assist to Carlos Tevez. It's not a great pass, it's... More Tevez doing the work, but he still makes that pass, something like Inzaghi wouldn't make. Here again, finds Pereira. This is the game that I won 4-2 that I disconnected from, as you can see the scoreline. Uh, again, he finds Pereira going through there with a nice little through ball, and that one is saved. Should be doing a little better. Here to Tevez again, nice little through ball, but it's also saved again. Um, going into his heading, obviously, I didn't score, well, I didn't score any headers with him, um, but he does have 93 jump in 99 heading. I'm not really a crosser in, as I said on the Andy Carroll view, but he'll win these for you all day long. And you can sort of flick balls up to him. If you're trying to get out of danger, he will win them more often than not. Again, here, it's a decent header. Finds Angel Di Maria. Tried to do something there, but I don't know what that was. Um, poor pass, and I go and twat it over. A little bit silly, but there we go. Again, from goal kicks, this is all these clips are really for heading ability, because I don't really cross it a lot. But that's a decent header there, and I think one more should do the trick. Well, I think it's a couple more actually should do the trick. But you can see constantly he's winning all these headers and he's not only winning them, like some players, he's also getting them on target to his, uh, what, a couple more clips here. Just always to the people, to your players. He's not just heading them right into the centre back where he's not winning them but not really getting enough on it to actually find someone. His decent jumping combined with his 84 strength wins headers for days. Um, going into his finishing and his long shots. Didn't take too many long shots with him. 85, position, uh, 85 finishing isn't bad. That was shit. Um, so I thought, obviously, as, as, I, as I do with other reviews, is start by showing you the chances that I have missed with him. Um, just show that, you know, I'm not saying he's amazing and he's going to score every goal for you, because he's not. But these are chances I did miss. And still, nine rec uh, game of nine games and 14 goals isn't too bad at all. Here, it's like a paste really doesn't help, and it's a poor shot, and he doesn't beat the keeper in the air. Here, should have taken it first time, really. But it was saved and I didn't. And I think this is the final final miss. That strength hold off the two defenders and then blast it, but straight to the keeper, unfortunately. This one is the first goal. I'm not sure how I got through there. Combined luck and strength. And he does find the... Uh, finesses it around the keeper there with ease. I think this one is probably my favourite. Is this the one I like? My favourite goal. Find Di Maria on the, on, the, uh, on the edge of the box. We'll play it back into Funes Mori. We'll cut inside with him. Play it into Pereira. Finds Tevez eventually. It's good movement from Funes Mori. He's making that run into the box and it's a nice first time left footed finish with that three star weak foot which isn't as bad as it sounds. It's a good finish there and a nice build up with him making the passes in between. Here decent dribbling takes on his player then holds off the other one as he comes to tackle him and it's a nice finesse shot into the far corner with that 893 curve. Again here we'll just fake shot past Cap well, I can't who that was and we'll just blast it past the keeper towards the far post using that 89 shot power. Again here, I'm just going to thump it. I'm not going to finesse that from, from anywhere, especially with that shot power. Um, 85 finishing does seem a little harsh on this card. He's actually very, very good. Uh, this one's 77 volleys. Yeah, I don't think he should be conceding this at all. 
but it's a it'll do and he's getting goals and that's all you need from your strikers really I don't really care other than that he's uh they're using his strength to hold off Jeremy Mathieu just keep using that strength it's really really useful for this card he's quite tall as well at six foot or six foot one so finding that far corner there with that with that left foot again is really was really useful with that three star weak foot as I've said uh I don't really see how this card seems like 85 finishing. It feels a lot higher than some cards I've used with higher stats. That one I should be scoring, but again, great ball control here, and then the volley, far post. 77 volleys my arse. It's a really nice finish. This one, just finesse it around the keeper. All relatively relatively simple goals, but he's scoring them a lot of the time. He, he's, he's consistent in his goal scoring, and that's what really matters. For me, a striker who scores once or twice a game in one game and doesn't score for the next one. It's not really a striker I want. I want a striker who consistently cause problems. And Funes Mori does. And for as I I don't know if you I mentioned, but at the start, bought him for twenty one thousand coins on the Xbox. And for a striker who gets this, who gets this goal scoring rate, I'll take that every day of the week. I think he's a really good card there. It's good movement, um, running off that back off the back of the defender there, running into that gap. Staying on side as well and getting one on one with the keeper. That one's a shite pass from Guy, uh, original pass from Guy Town. This one's a decent, well, decent touch by Ottomendi for me. Got a bit lucky. Went for goal uh, from a from a bit of a silly angle. Hit the post. It was a very good effort. Pastore wins it, and I'll just sweat that. And it's lovely, it's jubbly. Going for pros and cons. Big pros for this card. Uh, finishing, movement, strength, heading. His cost is very cheap, as I've said. Three star weak foot feels more like four. Passing, dribbling, ball control, all perfect. One problem and it's pace, giving him five stars because that is brilliant. I hope you enjoyed this review and thank you for watching.